Hello wonderful people, welcome back to the channel, Joy here, I'll be doing a fragrance review from the house of Rasasi, more like an initial impression today, and this is one fragrance I think is long awaited, there's nothing on this on Fragrantica, I think so far not, I, I last time I checked it wasn't, but if there is, I haven't looked at it, so I'll be doing an initial impression on this very long awaited fragrance as I mentioned before, Rasasi's Shaghav. So before I start this uh, uh, initial impression, I'd like to tell you a few things like a uh, I'm a very big fan of this house. You guys, if you do not know it by now, if you're new, go and check out my Rasasi reviews. Uh, if you put Rasasi and then Joy Amin, <laughs> you'll find all the Rasasi fragrances. Just going to show you a few examples, quite a lot of fragrances. Uh, this is Rasasi Shura. I believe I hyped it to the max in Bangladesh. And Bangladesh, we, in our country, it's very hot and humid. Nothing really lasts. This fragrance did hit, did get like... It did become a very big hit and it, it sold a lot. It's still selling a lot of bottles. All right, that's my first one. Let me show you some other. Daresh is my number one. I told you my top 10 Rasasi. Then this one, it's kind of like newer. Not Didn't get so much hype yet, but I did review it. Those who missed out on it are missing out on something really, really great. Rasasi Shura Pur Femme, that one. Then Hawas. This one actually initially uh, reviewed by many other reviewers. Then Enteba, you guys know the love for this in the community. Kasamat, Morhaf. So you can basically see. Then there are some other lines like uh, the Sotur line. I own them all actually. <laughs> there are many other Asasis I do not own, but I'll show you some. I have uh, these three. Layu Kwam, uh, Tobacco Blaze, and Jasmine Wisp. I reviewed them all. So if you haven't seen them, definitely check them out. And then I have the more basic line that I started my collection with, like these ones, Chastity and Blue for Men, okay? Oops, sorry. And then this beautiful Tazmim, inexpensive but very like a hidden gem kind of a perfume. And then the very basic one was that I started with, Amber Oud, the perfume oil, very beautiful bottle, like a temple. This is from Rasasi also. So apart from that, I have... Uh, few more I got a gift today sorry let me show you ah really messy today really very tired this is a gift from my dear brother today uh, Shafi Bhai gifted me this and this is called Dana Oud and it's called Kaltat Al Khasa I think that's what it's called it's also from Rasasi it's a oud based perfume yet to review it and then the more exclusive ones that are coming up after a few days are these two babies this is, you guys know, this is Borouge, one of the Borouge, and this is Junoon, I think this is called Satin, okay? These two are the most expensive and more pricier perfumes from Rasasi. So yeah, <laughs> you have an idea now how much I am serious about this house. This, Armaf, Azaro, and I'm Mansara. These few houses are my top favorites, even David of Blendline. So you guys know my love for those houses. So now let's talk about this new sensation. Many of you wanted to hear my thoughts. Here you go. This fragrance, I believe, comes in only one size, and there's also a female counterpart, uh, Shagav Pur Femme. I haven't tried it. I think it's called Shagav Pur Femme or something else. I do not remember the name. So there's a male and female counterpart. They both come in 100 ml EDP. Comes from Dubai, House of Rasasi. Prices, give or take. It depends where you're buying it from. For the time being, it's kind of on the pricey side. Look to pay like 50 to 60 dollars, give or take. Uh, but nothing less than 50 bucks for sure. So this is the box. Very nice, neat box. It says Shagav Pur Purum. This EDP. Nothing much to the box. Actually, some information. And here, the some information at the back. Up top, nothing. A very simplistic sort of box. Nothing special to the box. Okay. And uh, here you go. Bottle is really brilliant. Because uh, this bottle has something brilliantly done. Okay. First of all, you see the top. It looks like blue, like oceanic water, right? Something that will remind you of somewhere in the same line with Blue de Say Summer. You can see the similarity, blue, blue, excellent similarity. So that one is a aquatic fragrance. And so is this. That's why they put the color blue. But is, is the juice blue? If I put it this way, you can see it's see-through. It's a very plain juice. So when they put the paint at the bottom, it basically, if you put it like this, the whole bottle looks blue cool as hell it looks so futuristic right it's like um so uh aquatic like a sea water and stuff like that okay so yeah 
it looks kind of like a small bottle. I, I was expecting a much bigger bottle. So here, the cap is quality. It moves around, but this one holds it really well. Very, very uh, snug fit. Bottom is like this. They painted the part here, kind of like a, kind of like a silverish sort of paint, but you can see through the color. Very nice, cool touch to it. So that's what uh, the cool part is. The blue reflects in the water. It looks like water. So this is supposedly a more wear wearable version. There is no information, I believe, no real reviews. So if you did like Shura, or even if you didn't like Shura. This is actually the summer version of Shura. If you did enjoy this, even if you didn't enjoy this, watch watch out for this fragrance. So what's so special about this fragrance? This fragrance, I have it on my hand for some time. It's drying down. It's so well balanced. First thing, what are the notes? I didn't look at the notes. Let me tell you what it smells like. It smells sweet. Upon initial spray, spray is very, very good. Let me show you. Oh, I told you the cap is very tight. It's kind of like plastic, but got some weight to it. And let me show you the sprayer. Let's aim for it. Very good sprayer. So yeah, what does it smell like up top? It's a very beautiful summer citrusy sort of opening. It's like aquatic, fruity, watery, sweet. Okay, fruity, aquatic. Okay, I lost track. <laughs> fruity, aquatic, woody, and uh, citrus. Sort of like aquatic, citrusy, fruity kind of opening. So that's a beautiful opening. When you sniff it for the first time, let me let me spray it once again on my hand. Just remind, huge sprayer, best sprayer, some of the best sprayers from Rasasi. Let give it some time. So yes, if you are not a fan of sweet fragrances, but you do like aquatic and fruity fragrances, you should definitely check it out. If you're looking to buy something in line with Mancera quality that has excellent longevity for the summer aquatic freshy, this is another fragrance that you should look at. And if you can see my hand, I don't know, it is super oily. Concentration is very dense. So first time I sniffed it, today was like yesterday was our meetup. I'm sorry, it was kind of like the noisy and everything, but everybody seemed to like this fragrance. I can assure you that this much. It's not out yet, not distributed that much around the world. But if you have access to it, if you did like Shura and you wanted something of lesser, heavier, more aquatic, less uh, leather, less tobacco, less ashy quality, there's no ashy quality, there's no dirt in this fragrance. It has been cleaned up by some aquatic seawater. So is this the next type? Absolutely. This is going to be the next big thing from Rasasi. And Rasasi is not paying me. <laughs> I don't want them to pay me. i rather pay for the fragrance that I buy. I feel absolutely, you know, every time I put money on Rasasi, I feel like I gain some more. I made some more money <laughs> because these fragrances are that beautiful. Every single fragrance that I showed you just now, I hyped them up because I really believed in them. A lot of rasas I didn't try. This fragrance is the new thing. If you do like sweet fragrances and uh, if you want some aquatic touch, some fruits, some florals will appear, it's kind of like Big Daddy of Aqua Digio. If you like Aqua Digio, this is a Big Daddy of it. It's a bomb. It's a bomb in a sense it will last and project very, very long time. So yes, the hype is real. And not many people are talking about it. But go check it out if you haven't tried it try to get a decant or a sample of it you'll understand how much like this fragrance is worth amazing fragrance guys every time you sniff it, it it's a full fragrance there's nothing missing in it it's no weakness in it base you're gonna get some woody elements some musk and uh, definitely there's some wood there arabian fragrance they're gonna put some wood in there but the wood is not the main player here the wood is always in the background like a big daddy sitting there and let the kids enjoy aquatics fruity, floral, all these things. And it's very charming. It's a very uh, crisp, clean, blue fragrance, blue opening. After that, the dry down will go a little bit more sweeter. Aquatic is going to disappear a little bit. At least so far, I've been wearing for a few hours. That's what I've been getting. It will be excellent for everyday usage. If your people are you looking for something to wear in the office during summertime, hot weather, highly recommend it. You can wear this for the gym, but do not do overdo it. Like do not overdo it. Just half spray or half one spray on your chest or your neck. Enough. Everybody will know that you're wearing fragrance. <laughs> will you get compliments? I haven't tested it, but yes, something's telling me you're gonna get lots and lots of compliments. People are gonna ask you. They'll come to you, uh, sir. What are you wearing? You know, can I get the name? Because it's something brand new. It doesn't smell like any designer fragrance out there. But the clothes thing, I would just say it has tinge of uh, so blue of Mancera. But not the same mansara so blue is like so much i would say it's a lot uh, more floral and a lot more 
uh, ambergris based okay compared to this this is a bit uh, safer okay so now age for it i think this is built for youth people who are young at heart you want to wear something more cheerful it smells like you are open minded you are open to new ideas and you're open uh, for something trying something out new this is for you this is not aquatic all the way it's not fruity all the way it's not uh, wood all the way it has a little bit of element of everything is it a beast mode yes it is is it cloying no not to my nose cloying is rasa says shura <laughs> this too imagine like this is like a big brother this is the younger summer version brother so now how much would i give it initial impression yeah you guys got you guys guessed it right this is amazing okay this is thumbs up for me initial impression i love it i think it's gonna be working well also in the cooler weather but check out rasa says shagav absolutely love it love the bottle design love the sprayer smell wise another winner next big thing rasa says shagav and uh, i would highly recommend this for anybody is looking for fresh sweet long lasting beast mode fragrance and it will get bang for buck absolutely sir okay check out rasa says shagav that's my initial impression i'll do a full on review after checking it for like a month or so all right but initially if you're looking to buy it you can blind buy this if you like shura hawas you know any of those this is safe to blind buy if you like those right take care do let me know if you tried it how you liked it i really like this fragrance guys okay uh, instead of looking at a lot of designer fragrances rasas is actually competing and they're actually throwing a lot of strong challenge to those fragrances this fragrance is going to be really hard to beat <laughs> take care guys i'll talk to you soon have a very nice day bye bye